What's up everybody, Roger here from ThisKingdom.com. I'm going to be doing a quick video review here, an unboxing of the Star Wars X-Wing Miniature Game Heroes of the Resistance Expansion Pack. As you can see, it comes with two ships. You have got um, Poe Dameron's X-Wing and then you've also got the Millennium Falcon, though this one's slightly been updated from the previous release for to represent The Force Awakens. Now this one has been out a while. Um, you're going to see a few little reviews like this coming in as I've started taking up um, playing um, Star Wars miniatures, including X-Wing, and I needed a few character, a new a few ships just to kind of bulk out my um, deck. And I thought, well, since I'm buying these anyway, I might as well do a quick um, video unboxing so I can see what it looks like inside. I figured I might as well do the same thing. So let's open this one up and see what we've got inside. So first off, we have got the actual bits of pieces here. So we have got, let's just move that to the side. So we've got uh, some instructions. So going through the component lists, some new rules, um, things about the design. So it's nice to see that they included that in there. Um, all about setting up the ship and just kind of like giving you a little bit of detail about the actual ones. Obviously not tried this one out. I'm going to be doing that on some upcoming game nights. And we have got here, we've got some plastic um, ship bases. So we've got um, the really big one here for the Millennium Falcon. And then we've got a smaller one for uh, Poe Dameron's and a couple of these ones here. This would be quite good, to, obviously, for displaying. You can pick up different ones that are different colours if you want to do so. And um, we've also got a few little bits of plastic here for building the dials that you're going to be using. So we've got a little bit another bag here with some bits and pieces. We now have Fantasy Flight Games love using these little bags. So inside of here, we have got a um, couple of different options for how we want to play, play depending on which one we're going to have. So you've got um, an eight piece and these can all be used depending on which pilot you're going to be using. So we've got Poe Dameron, um, Nub Nub, um, Wesley, and we've got Pava, and we've got Ray flying the Millennium, or you can have Han Solo. So for example, Han Solo is a slightly better um, pilot so therefore he's probably going to cost more to do it but we've got a couple of different um, items there so that's pretty cool and then on the back here we've got a few different move things we've got some tokens we've got some focus some shields and we've also got a few other little items as well not too sure quite what they are yet but I'm sure once we start playing that again okay so we have got some cards as well let's get in here and have a look see what we've got so we've got some little ones here. So we've got snapshots, we've got two of them. We've got put that on around. trick shots, we've got fin, we've got M9G8, we've got a burnout slam, hot shot co-pilot, ray, burnout slam, primal thrusters, pattern um, analyzer, and the Millennium Falcon. So you could use this one, so this one's obviously just a point, but you can out build it out, black one here. Um, you can use that one. You've got a few different options here. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got the smuggling compartment. So these are things that all just give you little um, extra items to use. Um, be looking forward to trying some of these out. So if they use like Ray, Finn, for example, when attacking with a primary weapon or defending, if the enemy ship is inside your firing arc, you may add a one blank result to your result, to your roll. What other ones have we got in here? We've got the pilots. So, for example, Ray, at the start of the end phase, you may place one of your ship's focus tokens on this card. At the start of the coming, you may assign these to your ship. So that will give us a nice extra focus token. Well, I think, what was it like... So we got, I think there was a hand. Did I see a hand solo one? I thought I did. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, there we go. So that's the cards for that one. Uh, let's see what the other cards are for the actual ships themselves. So we've got the hand solo YT1300. So that's the main one. So we can see here it's got, you can use three for sh um, shooting, one for defense. Got, um, hull of eight and then it's got shield of five so that's pretty good that's a pretty good good one uh ray if she's doing it so you can see here like ray is 45 but han solo is 46 depending on which one you want to use when I t um so she is pretty much that's pretty much the same it's just that obviously 
Han Solo gets to go before Rey. Chewbacca is a little bit cheaper, a couple less points, so maybe if you you could use that in a slightly different way. And then we got uh, Resistant Sympathizer, so that's a kind of a generic one, so obviously a little bit weaker on maybe if you don't want to go full in on making it your main ship. Same thing for the um, X-Wing, you know, big difference between sort of the, the different pilots, so you could put Jess in there for 25 points or Poe Dameron for 33, or you can even go in a bit lower, literally just a blue squadron novice you could use that one instead and that one's going to cost you 33 so it really depends on which one you want to do there but great to have lots of different options different ways of building up my deck and so that's the actual thing so let's actually have a look now at the actual ships themselves because that's the main thing we're interested in and so plenty of plastic so we're going to get rid of that Well, I can feel the weight of this X-Wing, of this Millennium Falcon, is a little bit more, it's not too heavy. Um, so we can see here we've got the Millennium Falcon, and lots of detail all over the body here. Right underneath, we can see um, it is actually a little bit lighter than I thought when I took it out of the packet, but it's actually not too bad. Lovely lot of detail on here, lots of different colours. Lots. I'm just really impressed with the detail, obviously we've got the blue back. And yeah, that one looks pretty cool. And then we've got the, the X-Wing here, looking great. So I love the black version of it. We've got all the yellow, we've got all the things. Very light models they are. You know, they're not really sort of die cast ones or anything you might, but you could easily put this on display. I do think these look rather great anyway. But I thought since I needed to bulk out my resistance ones, these kind of made the first good sense, and I was recommended by a few of the guys at the uh, the game night that this was a good pack to kind of start with to start building out my resistance um, deck. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you play X-Wing? Love to know your thoughts on these ones. Which setup would you recommend me using? I'd love to know your thoughts on it. As per usual, go check us out over at thiskingdom.com, and I shall see you guys soon. Laters.